Caleb Morelli, thanks so much for joining me here on the Penguin Magic Podcast. I, uh, I was really excited to, to talk to you about this because I, I know you mostly from like Odyssey and uh, Dress Code and, and some of those things, but uh, you've got some of the YouTube stuff that's really great, but you've been doing a lot of consulting lately, which is kind of interesting because the when I was getting set up for this, I was like, oh, I want to do some research on him and you are a, a very difficult man to research. So, Yeah. Thank you. Is that, inten- <laughs> is that intentional? Um, yes, it is right now because I don't believe in really social media anymore. That's a fun statement coming from a guy who was sort of one of the, like, on the forefront of the YouTube. It took me a lot to erase what I had online. And right. now I, like, have, like, very hidden private accounts, like, just so I can, you know, communicate with, like, sure. family. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like the account that's on my Instagram Mm -hmm. or the, under my name is not my real account. Uh, (laughs) someone took that. So really, if you're following that on Instagram, you can go unfollow it and just like report them. That'd be cool. So the, the, the Instagram account that is you is actually not you. It's someone else has got it. Yes, it is someone else. Um, it has already been very, very, uh, troublesome. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, A friend, uh, a friend of a friend was like, oh, I tried to send you a message on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that's not actually my account. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's. So what prompted this Uh, going going from sort of YouTube sensation to uh, no one can find your magic outside of like a couple of the product releases you've had? For me, it's it's very important that I re examined why I was doing what I was doing okay. at that specific point in time mm-hmm. because um, I had felt like a shift in my thinking and how I create and what I want to focus my uh, intentions on mm-hmm. in magic. Mm-hmm. I had felt that I had outgrown where I was at and the only way to like move forward is to go in. So that's like what I had to do for myself in my own career. And I am what I feel like exactly where I would like to be in a career as a magician uh, for myself right now mm-hmm. and in a place where I'm taking in different types of uh, inspiration, different types of just knowledge mm-hmm. from people, uh, magicians that are really great, but magicians that I didn't study before. Mm-hmm. And um, the outcome of all that for me is to create more simple and more efficient and practical methods and effects. Is that, is that even apply to some of the stuff that you're creating for television programs? Because you, you have the luxury of being able to not be simple and practical since you're just doing it for camera or is, or yeah. is that a situation to situation for, thing? for television? Um, I feel that, uh, there's always, I've been in rooms with a lot of really talented and very smart magicians. Um, and knowing what you add to the group mm-hmm. is important. So for me, uh, in, in television, it's more about the the idea that is like uh, the hook. Mm-hmm. It's the idea that you would put on like a trailer because it's just the craziest concept of a visual mm-hmm. that is like putting two things together that you have definitely not seen before, but for some reason it's familiar enough mm-hmm. that you can feel like it's it's yeah. it's like maya it's like um most advanced yet uh acceptable yeah it's like a there's this ted talk that this guy has on that concept and it's how to how to construct things that are familiar yet mm-hmm. very different and that's like my whole jam in consulting it's just like finding these ideas that are for sure gonna you know drive views or drive rewatches you yeah. know it's uh, that's really fascinating. I'm sitting here like listening to you, like because uh, in, in my head I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to be interviewing this guy, but at the same time I'm going, oh my god, I need to write this down because you're you're almost approaching uh, consulting for a magic for television like a like an in, as an engineering practice or a product. Design. Yeah, I I focus on everything mm-hmm. as how to disrupt mm-hmm. because uh, disruption may be the one pinpointed skill mm-hmm. that I know that I can do. Mm-hmm. Um, whether it's like I look back at dress code mm-hmm. and uh, it's like the shirt change for yeah. you know anyone that's not familiar with it. And that effect was the first time that I realized what superpower, if you will, yeah. I had yeah. because 
I was obsessed with the uh, Quick Quick Change Act that was on America's Got Talent. Oh, uh, yes, because when this came out, there was that that act was like super viral. People yes, were sharing it all yes. over the place, and all my non magician friends, I would show it to, and they would be like, "Wow!" And then like my friend Joe at the time, my roommate, he would show it to people just for fun whenever they came yeah. over. And people's reactions were always the same. So I was like, okay, so we know that there's an absolute, that quick changing, color changing clothes mm -hmm. does work. So then I met this like seamstress. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm starting to like learn about it. So now, then I got all the books that were available and all the methods that were available were like just subpar in my, in mm -hmm. my thinking. So yeah. I was like, or at least for the application that you wanted, because the, well, the thing is with guy, with quick changes, with guys, everything uh, not everything, because there are methods that uh, that are online and clips of quick changes that are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. But it it usually relies with guys on removing under something mm -hmm. under like removing clothing under a guise of smoke, flash, something, right? Mm -hmm. Hoop, cloth. Yeah. So that to me was just like too close of a method, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, well, that's like what they think you're doing. So unless you do it perfectly, then what they think you're doing is just a, it's just a demonstration of skill. So, yeah. so I was, uh, on this thought pattern and then, and then I just realized that you could apply, you know, like the, the, the same folds and the same techniques mm -hmm. of the dress change to a shirt. Mm -hmm. And it's such a simple thing. But at that point I realized, Oh, no one's done this. And then I realized, well, the dress change at the end of an act is the one that's the most fooling because mm -hmm. it involves a fold. Mm -hmm. And then you start, then I was like just working on the design of like how to make the smallest amount yeah. to be shown, to be convincing, you know? And it's all kind of an engineering problem to me. Yeah. It's just like, like problem solution mm -hmm. and identifying the problem that needs to be solved because that taste is the, uh, is what makes people, people, you know, it yeah. makes, it gives you your, your, oomph, your, uh, your style. So you've been, is consulting what you're doing a lot of these days or is there more performing or is it sort of a mix of both? Cause you're just sort of following your bliss and like whatever comes, comes. Yeah. I, um, I don't, I don't usually seek out any type of work, mm -hmm. but as long as I am able to uh, work on things and try to solve problems mm -hmm. and work on magic, work on design mm -hmm. projects, whether that's film, mm -hmm. like whatever it is, then I'm I'm cool with it because mm -hmm. I uh, I don't have any specific hopeful ending that this is going towards yeah. you know which is you're, you're just interested in working on what's right now and what's right in front of you yeah and gaining an understanding of mm -hmm. what it is that i am uh trying like gaining an, a, an understanding as a creator is mm -hmm. like for sure one of my biggest goals right now mm -hmm. because understanding why things work and how things work and then being able to quickly apply it to other objects and other things mm -hmm. is such a necessary skill set as a as a designer creator anyone that is more than a as more than a performer mm -hmm. you know so it's like it's a very important aspect that i i think is uh really cool to work on so having removed yourself from social media and not putting uh, stuff out there on youtube how do you what do you think of sort of the current uh, internet magic that's going on. And uh, like, I guess uh, I could, a better way to phrase that would be, are you, are you liking where it's going or do you think that it's missing something or do you, where do you think it's going? Is that, I don't have any control over that. Yeah. No one does. Mm -hmm. And my opinion won't change what's going to happen. <laughs> okay. So yeah. I'm happy and I am yeah. very stoked to see people expressing themselves you just like that, that they're doing it period i like the act and the expression yeah. i think that's and like sometimes the specific tricks mm -hmm. will very like hit a chord and i'll be like wow what a great thing yeah. but like i don't watch through instagram stuff mm -hmm. instagram magic because um it all has this it uh not all i there's no absolute of art but mm -hmm there is a similar vibe of how things are presented on Instagram. Mm. And I always 
hope to focus on removing myself from any sort of trend that is happening. Yeah. So I, I don't watch a whole lot of uh, no, that's, stuff online. No, that's fair enough because that's it doesn't sound like it aligns with your goals. You know, yeah. Mindlessly scrolling through Instagram magic is not one of the goals. Of but it's not really mindless. Moment. No, it's not mindless because I, I mindlessly scroll through uh, like art websites mm-hmm. or random inspiration websites that have like, like there's abstract inspiration websites mm-hmm. that I'll go through for hours really? because that's like a great. Mm-hmm. A great if you're trying to expand your creativity you know if you go to like uh i'm, I'm blanking on the one that i have saved mm-hmm. uh my computer but if you go to one of these like abstract inspiration and mm-hmm. it's like you know a daily post of new stuff and you just give yourself the challenge of saying i'm going to look at each photo and i'm going to come up with a two sentence plot mm-hmm. and trick that could be done based on whatever inspiration i'm getting mm-hmm. And that's like a really fun thing to do because then it's yeah. like not even related to magic and the ideas that you'll will, that will come out of it will be very weird, mm-hmm. like very different. And you'll probably read them and be like, ah, oh, well, I didn't even think I would say something like that. You know? So you're so you're doing a lot of consulting now. So you uh, you consulted on Dynamo's show uh, uh, many years ago. Yes. Many many years ago, not yes. the current stuff, but you've done yeah. quite a bit of stuff with Dynamo. And then you were telling me you were recently overseas. Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, and obviously, if there's stuff you can't talk about because it hasn't come out yet, you know, we 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 can't go there. But whatever you can share with us yeah, on what you're I, doing would be very interesting. I was overseas um, filming and working on the design of a project that's with yeah, uh, is Joao Miranda. Oh yeah, um, yeah, his stuff is always. I really like a lot of what he's doing. The guy's wild. Yeah, like, I went and saw his like setup, and like you know, he's got a crazy amount of production power Mm -hmm. and people on staff. And it's like honestly inspiring, Mm -hmm. like to, to get to a point where you can execute on ideas Mm -hmm. so quickly and so efficiently. And that's like, I was like, okay, that, Mm -hmm. yeah, that inspired me a lot to, Mm -hmm. to, to make some moves. Yeah. uh, I really like a lot of the, the stuff that how puts out because it's, it's a it's sometimes it's a very direct straightforward simple method that is only able to be accomplished by some sort of like technical achievement which is yeah. which is really really interesting yeah it's nice uh you were telling me a story uh, a little bit before we got on podcast about uh something you were you were doing in africa where you were creating stuff in africa oh yeah uh, I was, can you can uh, you share that story a little bit with people because i i thought it was kind of wild but. yeah you were at the uh, yeah. i believe that you were talking about consulting gigs and then like uh something somehow it came up about the pressure that sometimes you're under yeah and yeah we were uh in a in like just a minivan it was me and rico de la vega and we were just riding back from uh we were in this like these makeshift um like villages outside of Cape town. And we were driving back through the outskirts of these still like an hour out. And we were like relaxing, like just waiting to like go to sleep. Cause we're like, dang, that was a long day. Yeah. And waiting to get back to the hotel. And then the van stopped. Everyone got out. There was a miscommunication. We were supposed to be filming a trick. Um, like right then. Oh, like and right, right then. Yeah. That trick did not exist. Um, so, Oh, it, it was a huge miscommunication mm-hmm. on everyone's part. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, Rico and I just like sat there and worked out the handling for a visual trick with like a rock and a bracelet or something yeah. like we, there was even specific props that had to be used. Oh, but we uh, yeah. but we just like had not mm-hmm. got the memo for it. So, yeah, you know, at that at those kind of points, mm-hmm. you know there's so many people on staff, you know, so many production people, it's costing everyone money. So it's like, you just have to come through with things like that. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, you know, we did. Did. And it it made it into the final edit. I believe so. Oh, that's, (laughs) yeah. I don't know if it should have, but it did. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Well, that is really awesome, man. Thanks so much for dropping by the podcast and sharing some time with us. And uh, I'm really excited to see what you're doing in the future. If, uh, Sounds like you got some some neat stuff that is like for sure, like not not just like products that people can come up, but you're gonna create some cool magic that people can sort of experience and enjoy. Word. Thanks.